you want to give up, you want to call anybody informed, anybody who's manly, anybody that wants to survive, anybody that wants to thrive, anybody that knows how government works or knows the three branches of government, anybody who's red-blooded, anybody that'll fight, anybody that isn't going to roll over, you want to point your finger and say, we're the scum, we're the problem, good! You're right, I am the problem. I am bad, Media Matters. I'm evil. You're good to be state-run media. You're good to go work with Alexa to fake the ratings numbers to show every libertarian or conservative site losing 90% of its viewers or readers when our own internal metrics were spiking and exploding at all-time highs and you were too dumb to even get Alexa to change their internal subscription service where you can actually get the numbers showing an over 70% increase in traffic in just the last month, you stinking liars! You think you hurt us? You think we sell advertising? off of ratings, off of your site. We sell it directly off the metrics, off our servers and off results, jackasses. But it shows how pathetic you are in your whole rigged world. Hey, Alexa, hey, Amazon, if your kids get airborne Ebola or bird flu and are dead in little coffins, how's your fake rating system gonna do for you? Why don't you just have an award ceremony, Media Matters, with literally almost no visitors? Run by the White House. Millions of dollars being spent every month on you up there in New York City and D.C. And you've got to go fake the numbers to say we have no viewers or listeners? I mean, what a joke. Why don't... It's basically like an 800-pound literal blue ribbon hog, sow, that wins the blue ribbon at the Kansas City Fair and then you trot it out at Miss America contest or up against a, re a revived, you know, inner prime Marilyn Monroe or Sharon Tate or something like that, and you roll it out and then you have your judges put a crown on the 800-pound pig that has crap running down its legs or something. I mean, you, I'm sorry to talk like that, but you people are such a joke where you get up on TV and you say two plus two equals five and there's no death panels and you can keep your doctor and it'll cut the price of Obamacare and Ebola's not going to come to America and Alex Jones is a liar and you don't have any visitors and you're a failure when you people are complete jokes. I produced a film, now downloaded over 150 million times on Google and YouTube alone, Loose Change. I made Obama's Deception watch more than 45 million times on YouTube alone. I made Endgame watch more than 20 million times on Google Video, another three or four million times. I can just keep listing films that have been seen 10 million, 20 million, 5 million, just constant viral videos, not even on our own pages, just every day with a million views here, 600,000 views there, 5 million views a day on all of our pages combined, millions of visitors to Infowars.com a day, 700,000 to Prison Planet a day, over a million to our one Facebook, and we've got like 30 of them, uh, hundreds of thousands to my Twitter. I mean, we can't can't even metric, dominating Roku, Boxy, just went on iHeart, already exploding on their podcast, uh, just dominating everywhere, and then I sit there and watch a bunch of guys with trendy beards and, and, and miscolored socks on there doing podcast from Media Matters, acting like you're grassroots, acting like you're trendy, when we know full well during the break, you're in the CIA saluting the White House and meeting with generals. See, our enemy has beards and little socks and goes, uh, uh, I'm trendy, I'm Nelly, non-threatening, but behind the scenes, it's black op operations, fix this, rig that, try to bring down the media, infiltrate, ah, just, I mean, that's who they are, folks. That's who they are, and they are psyoping this country with their NPR voice. I'm so liberal. Let's all talk like this now. Let's go to our next guest. Oh, hi, Kate. Or hi, Jenny. It's good to be here with you. Let's talk about how reasonable and intellectual we are and how we're fake fascist liberals funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. I mean, that's who these people are. And I don't care if you want to wear miscolored socks and have a beard and you watch The Hangover every day. I like The Hangover, too. Why even like Trendies? The point is, is that the enemy wears those cloaks. Do you, do you think a real spy is wearing an Armani suit that costs $3,000 and does 500 pull-ups a day and actually looks like James Bond? A spy is a 80-year-old woman on a walker who looks like she can't walk 
and looks like she's sick, and then as soon as she closes the door, gets up and is all ready to attack and kill somebody. A real spy has a beard and acts trendy and goes, uh, 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 to sit there and fool you, to sit there and sneak up on you, to sit there and pacify you. They are preying on you scientifically like wolves stalking a jackrabbit. Do you understand that? Do you understand that MSNBC is a military FBI operation? They're basically all former FBI informants, all former or current CIA. You can look up each one of them and actually find that out. Did you know that most of the analysts on military and world affairs on CNN are former CIA or are former secret operations in one of 14 other agencies or are foreign agents of foreign governments like Wolf Blitzer? On record, former registered agent of Israel, known Mossad, former lead spokesman for the Israeli Ministry of Defense, Anderson Cooper, CIA from the day he went to college and out of it in what? Psychological operations. <laughs> I mean, and, and, and it's great. I love it. I absolutely love it because you can't trump or beat naked truth. Naked, redneck, Americana, in the face, cards on the table, no fear, down to earth reality.